So welcome to Pause Talk. This is an initiative which we have started by Hope and Happiness. Let me introduce first what is Hope and Happiness. Hope and Happiness is an endeavor which was started by me, uh, Dr. Monica Nagpal, in 2020 after the cold. During the COVID, you can say. So at that time, we started off with uh, hope and happiness because these were the two things which were missing on in that time, hope and happiness. And today in 2023, when people have started running again, and we thought we will start with pause talk. As of now, pause talk is going to start with women who have paused in their lives and then how they have come out from there and now they have become an inspiration as to how even after taking a pause, you can come out re-energized and you can unleash yourself. So we begin our pause talk with Devena Park. She is a mom of two handsome kids and she has been a professional before she took a pause and now she is ready to unleash herself once again. So I invite Devina to introduce herself. Welcome, Devina. Thank you, Monika ji. Thank you very much for giving me opportunity to express myself and uh, inspire other women that any pause in life is not a permanent pause, but a temporary one. Yes. So myself, Devna Parikh, a career coach and a parenting coach, would want to highlight about my journey how from a professional to a mom to a professional again was a long journey with many years involved in it. Lot of hard work, upscaling, lot of things were needed. So you have to put your hard work, you have to be dedicated and never to give up hopes ever. So your platform is a perfect platform for hopes and happiness because that does exist. So nice, so nice. So, uh, Devina, yes, I can understand that you had your own professional life and then uh, because of family, you had to take it off. But how did you actually start? Let us begin with the beginning. How did you start as a professional uh, after your uh, probably you graduated and then you got married? And how was it? Just just small beginning. How? Please share that. So I was always very passionate about teaching. I started teaching my own younger sister and slowly and gradually I started taking up tuitions on small scale and that expanded. It all was going very smooth. I had coaching classes where I was teaching big group of children. Then suddenly the pause came as I had my own children. So my work got passive, but I was doing it at a very small scale. Mm. Then uh, eventually I realized that I have to give more time to my kids' academics and non-academics activities. But I made sure that during this period, I upgraded myself. So whatever the academic things were there or also non-academic, as in they were doing Olympiad, IPMs, Abacus, those all programs I myself understood, went for the demo class and then started implementing with children. So I just made sure that my brain doesn't rust up and I am always charged up and alert with what education system has to offer to children always. Mm. And then randomly I started helping parents around and taking decision related to school subject choices. During COVID time, I was attending a lot of webinars because I wanted to know about what career would be best for my own son. So I got so passionate about the whole process that I just thought of uh, why not I take up career counseling as a profession myself. I did a certified course under CDA and NDA, which is USA renowned and got myself certified. Then I did my parenting uh, coach course, which gave me a lot of exposure for children in different age group, in different brackets, right from toddler to preschoolers to mid-schoolers and teenager kids. And then I conducted a few workshops, few webinars. This really boosted my morale. I started getting spellbound response. So the entire journey of education system with my own children and then guiding the new generation has been a wonderful process. 
currently i am upscaling myself by doing my masters in psychology and uh, i feel that uh, studies you should never stop at any age so you know it can be my next step can be clinical psychology or a ba program but i'm sure that i want to continue studying parallel to my counseling practice oh my god this is so wonderful devina so uh, one thing which has come out is that we should never stop studying we should keep learning uh, by being a learner is what we are able to help people around us and we keep to continue uh, to boost ourselves self learning is not only to be able to get knowledge but to get that kind of wisdom which can be helpful to other people around us to actually Absolutely. become a kind of contributive citizen of the world and i'm sure that is what you have taught your children also to be contributive children uh, around the world so this is wonderful devina but then suddenly this pause came because there are uh, women professionals who continue to learn they have their personal development courses and they are working in corporates or even teachers they continue to teach and they get that kind of uh, used to in a habit of working working so i feel that zest is lost when you are so into the same routine every day but a person who takes a pause uh, for example yourself uh, you would have energized yourself and now when you have come out it would have been a really different uh, matter altogether so what i want to ask you now devina is that this pause which you took because you you had children and you had responsibilities from uh, your family so was this pause uh, self imposed or you had been forced to take a pause uh, i can say it was self imposed because i live in a nuclear family and my husband has lot of traveling involved so he couldn't give that much time and one parent had to be there around with children always so i took over took over willingly but as i said i always kept on upgrading myself uh, so it was never a glitch i never felt that vacuum that i'm missing out on anything and slowly and gradually i started studying a lot on career related fields as in what entrance exams what kind of institutes in india abroad what the child should pursue like mm. that today i have a community and lot of children uh, mentoring them guiding them so once they take up the counseling with me my mentorship is there with them throughout their academic journey mm. so uh, no regrets as such but yes i did it with my own personal choice okay and uh, how did you help your children because you were a full time mother and how was that affecting the parenting of your children uh, was it different from the people who go out and work and you as a stay at home mom uh, was it different i think it was very positive both my kids have been toppers in school and uh, right now my elder son got 99 percentile in his je entrance exam so i am super proud and uh, looking at taking up in a good college in a coming coming at academic year uh, my younger one is in grade 10th even he is doing fantastic in his academics so i will not brag but actually my kids can calculate faster than calculator so their right. mathematical skills their calculations have been very strong i gave my four to five years to them for abacus program which was eight level program we mm. used to solve around 500 to 600 sums per week which oh i God. think wouldn't have been possible if i would have been a full time working mother so yes. uh, that was my own passion and interest also of teaching and i gave them lot of time in their academics and apart from that lot of uh, extra curricular activities right from football to cricket squash swimming skating robotics chess crossword puzzle so there were plenty of classes which they enrolled and i helped them in their you know all round development so mm. i think i did all justice to them but somewhere uh, i felt that you know all the years have gone by and especially i think that covid time aaya na to you uh, you know started feeling that self realization oh my god i just took a back seat and gave priority to my children now it's the time that i start doing something which brings some happiness and contentment in my life and now my Absolutely. kids give me so many hours so i can do that 
Yes. So anytime I would just ask you, Devina, uh, because it all happens uh, when the outcome is here, like you are looking here now, uh, 15, 60 years, uh, 16 years hence, there will be many uh, who will be actually in the pause. They would not have come out of the pause who will be listening to this uh, interview later. And they would be feeling, have some kind of feelings inside that, uh, that regret and that anguish and that despair inside them. That why am I wasting this time? They would bring out that kind of uh, anger on the children itself that because of you, I am staying at home. And this is what you are giving me. Like They will realize what you have realized after 10, 12, 16 years that children have really grown up to be wonderful human beings. But when they are in that stage, so did you also feel some time, can you uh, share any incident in, in your uh, that pause time, uh, which yes, really so, was pulling you back? Yeah, so it was very frustrating for me when I had to handle two boys who were always, uh, you know, very active. But uh, also my elder son had uh, asthma and eczema issues. So for days together, he used to get the skin allergy and uh, he had to be dependent on uh, nebulizer. So those were the days when I really used to feel very low and, you know, nursing them, looking after mm. them and actually thought there is a full stop to my life. But mm. uh, luckily during the COVID period, this online things have come up. I will request all the women or mothers who due to some reason cannot take up their work, at least you upscale yourself by doing some online courses or getting into some part-time job which you can do either online, offline, like a remote work that you can do it from home and mm -hmm. some kind of time management, some additional help at home like a nanny or something. So if you actually have a good time management and little bit outsourcing things, then uh, I don't think so. A career can be a full stop in anyone's life. So nice. So I will just sum up on that, that we can have always help from outside and we need to continue to upskill ourselves. Like there are so many and time management is so important. Yeah, you absolutely said this right. That time management is one thing which is so important for anybody who is working or non-working. Because anybody has 24 hours and uh, how do you use that 24 hours is in your hand. You Everybody has that time. Uh, somebody will just wail away time, especially now on social media. You will be just sitting and uh, wailing away your time on social media. Or you can use that social media to upgrade yourself, which is up to you what you can do. So then uh, now that you have come to this stage and now you are unleashing yourself as a career counselor and as a parenting coach, what is your, like, how do you see yourself from next five years from now when your children supporting and also what was the support? So I would like uh, to ask you about the support system that you had and now how are you supporting the woman uh, or anybody around? Yes, so uh, there were times that I was not tech savvy and my children used to laugh on me that mama, you just don't know this simple operation on your laptop, on your computer. And I made sure that I have to be self-dependent. I started learning so many things that then they started coming to me and asking me, how do we have to get into this particular uh, activity? So mm -hmm. I made sure that, you know, I don't have to be dependent on anyone. And uh, I will just uh, tell all the women that you should not lose hopes mm. and you have to just keep on rising and soaring high in your life. Whatever creative skill that you have, you put it in a right way because today we do have a lot of support through social media. Of course, you need to have strong support from your family members. And I will give all the credit to my husband, my sister, my children, my friends, my neighbors. So it was actually a neighbor auntie who really boosted my morale and she said, you're so good at it. They know, why don't you do it professionally? And mm. all my life, I just kept telling my boys, padhai karo, padhai karo, padhai karo. Ab wahi cheez mein professionally bol rahi hun, padhai karo. That's the only difference. And mm. I myself have been a very studious child and uh, somewhere I never got a correct career guidance. I am from a family of doctors, my father, all my uncles, my grandparents, great grandparents, everyone was a doctor. I was getting in science stream, 
but in those days we never had a career counselor so all my friends were going in commerce even those who got high percentage my father told me you are getting in science why don't you take up science stream and do something like mbbs i said no all my friends are going in commerce and i blindly followed the group and uh, some regrets i have because i have been so passionate about medical field that in my free time i actually read a lot of books on medicine and since 10 15 years i am doing self medication for my own children <laughs> i have few doctor friends also so i keep on interacting with them and if i actually meet doctors when i go with my in laws or my parents those doctors ask me are you from medical background because i am quite well versed with it and i'm very passionate about biology as a subject but mm-hmm. somewhere i feel that glitch that i missed out on but uh, still like you know for future generation i have taken up this cause that i have to create that awareness in right manner if mm-hmm. children have the passion have the interest then they have to just move ahead and not stop themselves so yeah. these are few learning lessons of my life and i want to enlighten the future generation that they have to do things what they are passionate for what they have the aptitude and the interest that they possess correct correct so one thing which has come out from here is that uh, children get peer pressure so when you were that young and you had that kind of a peer pressure probably because of uh, they are taking commerce and you didn't realize that you had the aptitude and probably you had it in genes also from yes. your parents and everybody yes, that absolutely. you could have become a doctor uh, but yeah again now that you are a career counselor uh, do you only suggest uh, being doctor and engineer because that was way back that we had only probably lawyer or doctor or engineer but today the field is absolutely open a child can become anything in the world and as you said they have to really start to work on their creativity how they can uh, Uh, bring out that self interest from them and they can do anything in the world it is not only doctors and engineers who are running the world actually so i'm okay. sure you are you are also telling uh, so what are the current new fields that you are suggesting or you find the children are getting interested may i ask you that so, there are a lot of other fields from our traditional fields like doctor lawyer engineer ca cs these things do exist but there is something called astrophysics computation ai ds ml law there is a cyber uh, security field further in it psychology which was always so much underestimated we have clinical psychology which is really high in demand even fitness trainers dietitians hair stylists makeup artists these were looked down upon few years ago but today these are high in demand and people are at least satisfied because they are doing something creative and they are getting success in it plus they are making money out of it so i feel it is not necessary that it has to be very much academic oriented if also mm-hmm. you are uh, very uh, you know witty and street smart and creative then you can reach to any level in any field absolutely even comedians are making so much of uh, name for themselves now yes, and yes. also they are making us laugh and they are making us even happy even you as a youtube blogger are doing <laughs> a fantastic work who thought career counseling will be a career in new age era i am a career counselor and i am very satisfied with it yes yes absolutely absolutely and, and look at this uh, as a counselor i am also a mental doctor dealing with hmm. children and their mentality so i am fulfilling my dream of being a doctor somewhere absolutely so i i will uh, uh, again match with you on that because even i wanted to be a doctor and so uh, i did my phd that is why because i couldn't be a medical doctor so i did my phd in education and uh, today i call myself as doctor of hope and happiness so <laughs> so that is also one thing which uh, it which, which can always be there that and also about the sports like there are so many sports which are coming our children really wanted to play sports and uh, the parents used to say no no jo khelega kudega wo to bilkul khatam ho jayega they will not have any future but today the people who are really into sports they are really doing well uh, they get even they get the advertisements they get they get so many ads and they have so many different different careers so yeah so the field is absolutely open and uh, very uh, thank you so much devina lastly i would like to just ask you to share um, two three lines or probably one 
one message which you really want to give to the women who will are probably in still in the pause phase and they want to bring uh, themselves out they are in that inertia phase they don't know how to come out uh, so if you would like to give that message to them uh, i will just say don't <clears throat> underestimate your potential and you have in you sky is the limit just raise your hand and head and look up there are a lot of opportunities knocking at the door so feel very positive about it have a positive attitude the success is at your feet wonderful wonderful so it is so important that even if you are in a pause it is important that you are able to understand what is your calling what is inside you understand your own potential that is most important so once you've understood that then the sky is limit as devina has just One said one more very is... important thing there will Please. be a lot of people who would be pulling you down and not allowing you to reach to a level you have to ignore them have confidence in yourself and rise above all yes so obstacles will be there but when you get obstacles only then you challenge yourself and when you challenge yourself you grow so it is important that you are there there is always hope for you and we are not talking about any uh, passive hope which we just sit down and then we just uh, want things to happen it is not about that it is that you take action on whatever you dream probably you had dreamt something and you got a pause but still you have time and you can go further as devina has done she has taken a pause but now there she is to bring out to the world a new mom who is so well versed with all the technology and she is ready to guide all the children as she has guided her own children she is ready to guide children so you can you can contact her if you have any children for your career consultation uh, children's consultants career consultation she is all there and thank you so much devina for being part of the first episode of pause talk i'm really grateful that you were here and we will take this forward more so looking uh, forward to have more guests here on pause talk who will be enlightening us on the pauses they have taken and how they have come out of that pause what has motivated them so that we can really inspire their women who are still in that cocoon they have to really burst open that cocoon and fly right so thank you so much divina thank it was you, really Karen. wonderful to have you here thank you so much my pleasure